All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of this element to the solution. Not too much. If I add too much, what will happen? Hmm? Jane? Jane? Where are you? Oh, how can she expect to learn if she disappears like this? Anyway, as I was saying, I just need to add a tiny bit of this element. Julius! Um, where have you been? We were supposed to be doing this experiment together. I'm sorry, okay? I was really hungry and I couldn't wait to lunch. So I thought I'd sneak away for a snack. Want some? No. Anyway, about that. I think it's time that I do an experiment on my own. Hmm, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But... Uh, we'll discuss this later. But for now, why don't you tell these other scientists the new bottom line? Oh, okay, right. The new bottom line is God changes our heart.
Hey guys, Jane here. I've got a great memory verse from the book of Acts and it goes like this. Therefore, repent and turn back so that your sins may be wiped out. Acts 3, 19. Great job guys, now go ahead and stand up and we'll do it all together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Therefore, repent and turn back so that your sins may be wiped out. Acts 3, 19. Awesome job, now let's do it one more time from the top. Ready? One, two, three. Therefore, repent and turn back so that your sins may be wiped out. Acts 3.19. Great job, guys. See you later. Joash was seven years old when he became the king of Judah. He grew up and had a family. For years, King Joash did what was right in the sight of the Lord. Joash really wanted to renovate the Lord's temple. He gathered the priests and Levites and said, Go out to the cities of Judah and collect silver from all Israel to repair the temple of your God. Do this quickly. Joash commanded that a chest be placed outside the gate of the temple. All the people in Judah and Jerusalem brought their tax to the temple and put it in the chest. The people filled the chest with silver. Every day the religious leaders emptied the chest and the people filled it up again. Then Joash and the high priest gave the silver to the workers in charge of fixing up the temple. They hired stone cutters, carpenters, blacksmiths, and coppersmiths. The workers restored God's temple and made it stronger. When they finished, the workers gave the leftover silver to Joash and the high priest. They spent the leftover money to make tools and instruments for the temple. The priests gave burnt offerings in the Lord's temple every day, while Jehoiada, the high priest, was alive. Jehoiada lived a long life. After he died, the rulers of Judah came and talked to King Joash. Joash abandoned the Lord's temple. The people stopped worshiping God. Joash set up objects and idols for the people to worship. God sent prophets to warn Joash and the people, but they didn't listen. Because Joash turned away from God, God turned away from him. Joash wanted to obey God. He honored God at first, but in time, his actions showed that there was still sin in his heart. Jesus wants to change our hearts. When we trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior, he gives us new hearts that want to live for his glory. Okay, okay, I've read the lab manual front to back and back to front. I've cleaned out the beakers and mopped up the elements. I know what I need to do. I'll follow the instructions, I promise. I just don't know if you're ready. Please, please, please. I can do this. I know I can. I know I can. Please, 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 please. Oh, okay, all right. But only if you follow all of the instructions in the lab manual. I've already determined the exact amount that's needed to complete the experiment. If you use too much or not enough, there could be consequences. Look, I appreciate the help, but I've got this. I'm sure you have lots of other places to be right now. So go, 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 go! Uh, all, all righty then, but if you really want to do this on your own, then you are going to do this all on your own. But remember, if you hear the alarm go off, stop the experiment. Don't ignore the warnings. I've got this. Go, go, go! Okay, here we go. I've got this. Wait, wait, is this right? All this is gonna do is fizz a little bit? No explosions? No sparks? Hmm. Wonder if I add just a little bit of this. 
Ooh, I wonder what it's gonna do. This is so cool. Get him. Wait. What's that sound? Ugh. And what is that smoke? And what is that smell? What? What? What, what is going on? And uh, why does it smell like rotten eggs? What? What is all this goo? I don't know. I. But you, you, did you follow the instructions? Yes. Well, at first, but then, well, it wasn't as cool as I wanted it to be. So? So I thought it would be more interesting if I added if a few more If you blew elements. up the lab? Why didn't you follow the instructions like I told you to? I started to, but... But, no, no, no buts. You know, I know someone else who started off wanting to follow the rules, but ended up abandoning the right thing to do. Really? Who? A man named Joe Ash. You see, Joe Ash began his rule as king by obeying God and leading the people of Judah to obey God. Led by a priest, Jehoiada, to strengthen the temple where the Israelites worshiped God as a way to provide a physical reminder of, for all Judah to demonstrate that only God was worthy of worship. You see, when we listen to the wisdom of the people that God has strategically placed in our lives, we're equipped to make better decisions. But when Joash lost his wise influence, he abandoned the temple and what was right in God's eyes and leaned on his own abilities alone, kind of like you did when you stopped following the lab manual. So, so when you trusted me to do the experiment on my own, I should have listened to you and the warning signs and tried not to do my own thing? Exactly. When we are given the chance to lead like Joash was as a king, we will be far better equipped when we listen to the people that God has given us, that he's put in our lives. Joash wanted to obey God. He honored God at first, but in time, his actions showed that there was still sin in his heart. Jesus wants to change our hearts. When we trust in Jesus as Lord and Savior, he gives us new hearts that want to live for his glory and to do what's right in his eyes. Now, let's get out of here and, and until the smell clears out. <coughs> yeah, it really does stink. Oh,
like, get down, get down, get down real low. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Here we go. You ready? Here we go. You are the good news, good news. You are the dance in my shoes. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the light. A little more, a little more. Here we go, a little more. You are the good news, good news. You are the God I will choose. You're the way, you're the truth, you're the light. Get up, get up, get up. You are the good That was stinky. I should really make sure that I read the lab manual from now on. There's a lot of really interesting notes in here. Like this one it says that you mix an acid with a base, it will create an eruption. Ooh, I love science. Hmm. I wonder if I add a little bit of... No, no. I should really wait for Julian. I learned my lesson today, but Julian also taught me that when we trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he gives us new hearts that want to live for his glory and do what's right in his eyes. Speaking of Julian, where'd he go? Julian? Julian! <laughs>